You spun the bottle and waited for it to stop, looking at everyone around the circle in turn. As to be expected from a game where Ashido had bullied a portion of the players into playing, there were some nervous expressions dotted about. There were also some excited expressions, one expectedly grumpy back ago, and a couple of indifferent faces. When the bottle stopped, it was pointing at Sue. She was one of the few who looked indifferent about the situation. However, you had heard her asking Ashido if she really had to play while everyone had been sitting down. She was calm, collected. You could never tell what she was really thinking until one of those rare instances where it welled up and spilled out of her. You had hoped she would show a bit of enthusiasm when she realised she was going to kiss you, but she simply nodded and smiled at you in her casual way, then got to her feet. But then she pointed over her shoulder. I'll kiss you, but not in front of everyone. Complaints and protest rippled out amongst your nosy classmates, but Ashido raised her hand to silence them and said in her most authoritarian voice, I'll allow it. Then she winked at Sue. Clearly, they had made an arrangement. You nodded and shrugged. It suited you perfectly. It was strange kissing in front of the whole class anyway, so you followed Sue into the stairwell and stood out of sight, then heard Ashido threaten anyone who dared follow you with Todoroki freezing them in ice. Sorry, Sue said, grabbing your attention. I'm probably not the person you wanted to kiss, so you don't have to if you don't want to. The fact she was saying that made you realise she was more nervous than she was letting on. Don't be silly, I want to kiss you. And you did. Sue had caught your eye on many an occasion, not least because of how pretty she was, but you loved the way she treasured her friendships and stood up for the ones she cared for. Sue ribbited, then cocked her head to the side. You do? Are you sure? She looked uncertain. You weren't sure why until she opened her mouth and shot her tongue just past your head. When it was back in her mouth, she scratched the tip of her nose like she was embarrassed. I can understand why it would be weird, Ribbit. Aside from her terrifyingly fast reflexes, there was nothing off-putting about her at all, and you couldn't help but chuckle that she thought differently. However, your laughter did not come across in the way you meant it. Sue took a step back, looking hurt. I understand, she said, and tried to walk past you to go back to the others. Only you grabbed her by the hand and pulled her back. Don't be daft, you said brushing the hair out of her face once you'd wrapped your arms around her to hold her still. I want to kiss you. This time when you said it, you proved it. Without hesitation, you leaned in and melded your lips to hers, smiling when she made a small ribbiting sound in the back of her throat, almost like a hiccup, before she leaned in to kiss you back. You let her take the lead, not wanting to overstep what she was comfortable with but she rested her hands on your chest and ran her tongue along your lower lip, only to be delighted when you opened your mouth for her. She was careful, making sure not to go in too deep, but enough to make you smile as she playfully stroked your tongue with hers. When the two of you broke apart, you were both breathing heavily. Sue wrapped her arms around your waist, then kissed you on the cheek, smiling when she pulled away. She took you by the hand, gave it a squeeze, then walked with you back into the main room where everyone was eagerly awaiting your return. When the class saw you together, they clapped and whooped. Ashido hollered aloud, I knew it! Sue smiled and kept hold of your hand after that. <laughs>